Good morning and welcome to worship on this 10th Sunday after Pentecost. Each Sunday morning at 8.30 and 10 a.m., we do have abbreviated in-person services of Holy Communion. Let us now prepare our hearts and minds for worship during the prelude.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, eternal goodness, immeasurable love, you place your gifts before us. We eat and are satisfied. Fill us and this world in all its need with the life that comes only from you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the sixth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were beside the sea, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that the God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Have you ever been hungry, truly hungry? While some of us may know what it's like to miss a meal here and there because of a crazy schedule, or experience physical hunger because of a rigorous diet. Few, if any, of us really know what it's like to be physically hungry for an extended period of time, or to be unable to focus or function because of a growling stomach, or to not know from where our next meal is coming. Yet, as a world, as a nation, we struggle with food insecurity and hunger. A census survey this past March revealed that nearly 18 million people in the U.S. reported sometimes not having enough food to eat. And 5 million said they often didn't have enough. We see hungry people in our own community Along with a number of other organizations and agencies, the Rivermont Area Emergency Food Pantry, housed here at Holy Trinity, assists thousands of Central Virginians with food each year. Fortunately, pandemic-driven expansions of nutrition assistance, recent economic stimulus investments, and more people returning to work are helping reduce food insecurity at least temporarily, but the overall rate remains very high as our wealthy nation continues to grapple with a massive 
long-term hunger crisis. Hunger. Even though few of us may have firsthand knowledge of physical hunger, many more of us are familiar with spiritual hunger. Spiritual malnourishment is a life-threatening affliction. Mother Teresa once said, being unwanted, unloved, uncared for, forgotten by everybody, I think that is a much greater hunger, a much greater poverty than the person who has nothing to eat. Spiritual hunger, like physical hunger, consumes our best selves and it's made all the more confusing in that our spiritual hungers can, can leave us feeling fat and bloated because we substitute what we truly need for the long haul with what we think we need in the moment. We see that dynamic at work in today's gospel reading as Jesus of Nazareth tries to explain that, that the bread of God offers lasting nourishment and gives life to the world. After feeding the 5,000 with loaves and fishes, Jesus and his disciples cross the Sea of Galilee to Capernaum. The crowd follows him and demands more food. Perhaps sounding a bit testy, Jesus responds, you're looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Don't work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. Having been challenged, the exchange continues as the crowd demands signs and reminds Jesus that Moses gave their ancestors manna to eat in the wilderness. Our Lord then corrects their selective memory, reminding them it wasn't Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it was my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, the crowd cries out, give us this bread always. The gospel writer then gives voice to our Lord's profound promise. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Never. Never. Not ever. This morning, our risen Lord comes to us through his word. And for those who gather for in-person worship with his very body and blood to feed our hunger and quench our thirst, he comes to heal the brokenness of our hungry, parched lives by bringing us the gift of his grace and wholeness. He comes to reassure us that we are wanted, loved, cared for, and not forgotten. He comes to remind us that in response to the amazing blessings we have been given, we are called to be good and generous stewards of all that we have and are, to provide food for the hungry, to care for the sick, to have compassion for the elderly and for children, to strive for justice for the weakest among us, and to witness to God's love for us in Christ Jesus is our baptismal mission. Yes, our appetites can betray us, that's why it has been observed that many in our consumer-driven culture have a tendency to buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't even know. That we tend 
to fill our holy hungers with bread that perishes while starving for the true bread of life is one of the great paradoxes of this life. However, God's seeking spirit works through our appetites to find and claim us as God's own. God comes to us in, with, and under word, bath, and meal, joining God's power and presence to what is ordinary in order to give us the sacred gifts of life and salvation. God's Spirit creates within us a hunger for the holy, and through God's Son, we are truly fed. Have you ever been hungry, truly hungry? Our Lord says to us, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Loving God, you call your church to be the body of Christ. Awaken all the baptized to the gifts you provide for carrying out the work of ministry. Where the church Catholic is divided, knit us together and restore the unity of the faith. Lord, in your mercy, you are revealed in the wonders of your creation. Inspire us to watch over deserts and wilderness places, rainforests and watersheds. Strengthen the work of conservation organizations and all who care for the environment. Lord, in your mercy, you summon leaders to respond to the needs of your people. Instill those who govern with patience when confronted with grievances and perseverance and seeking what promotes the well-being of the human community. Lord, in your mercy, you draw near to those who cry out for help. Help us feed those who are hungry, reassure those who are despairing, and accompany those who are imprisoned. Rain down the true bread of heaven that gives life to the world. Lord, in your mercy, you receive all who come seeking a sign of grace. Make this congregation a place of hospitality for those accustomed to exclusion or rejection. Work through us to welcome them in the name of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, you provide food that endures for eternal life. Sustain us each day with the bread of life, 
until we are gathered with all the saints to the never-ending feast of your abiding love. Lord, in your mercy, into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together as we have been taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Our service now begins. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 